Find, find the value of pi starts 3.14159. A good old fraction you may hope to define, but the decimal never dies. The decimal never dies. I am Professor Lesser in the Department of Mathematical Sciences, I know that rhymes, and I'm also the director of CETAL, the Center for Excellence in Teaching and Learning for the UTEP campus. It was very exciting to receive that award because it's just such a hard award to win when they only pick 10 winners a year from all 159 two and four year colleges in the whole state of Texas. And it's also humbling because it's sort of like this career lifetime achievement award. And you know, I'm still, I'm not, I don't think of myself as that old yet, but maybe I am, I don't know. <laughs> and I'm still, but I'm still growing as a teacher. I'm still learning and don't feel like I've reached my, my peak yet. And, um, and so to receive this recognition now is, is, is again, a humbling charge for me to keep on going. I really try to build in a lot of moments for student interaction and engagement, whether it's, uh, you know, not just going in with a predetermined lesson of how exactly everything's gonna go, but to really build in opportunities for their voices, their questions. And in fact, every time I ask a question, rather than just throwing it open to the room and having the same three or four volunteers raise their hands, I pose a question and expect everyone to answer. And they do that by, uh, they take the, this piece of paper, the uh, ABCD card, <laughs> and they fold it to the um, letter that represents them. And then I can pan the room and see at a glance if everyone basically has it, in which case I know I can you know, not belabor things and move on, or, they, uh, or, or I know if there's a misconception and then I can decide how to handle that in the moment, maybe have them talk to each other, that often works just fine, or bring in a different example. Um, and so doing things like that uh, makes, makes things more, more real for me and, and for them as well. And, and then I guess the other thing that I'm sort of known for uh, the most is uh, my use of uh, educational song. It is key to know what p-value means. It's the chance with an L you obtain data that's at least that extreme. And, and it's not more than 1% of what I do in the class, but it seems to be the 1% that is remembered the most, um, where I'll actually bring in my guitar and, and, uh, and, and, and do a song that's, again, it's not just you know, for fun, even though it is fun, it is connected to the content. Um, and it helps them either recall things or motivates them to think about the history of something, the, the real life context for something. Um, and I think that's particularly important in a subject when you're teaching something like math or statistics where there's a lot of documented anxiety and, and phobias and things like that. And anything you can do to humanize the class, the teacher, the, the subject itself um, goes a long way. And, you know, a jingle can just one minute long can just shift the energy for the whole hour like nothing else can. All of us have some interest, some background, some hobby that we may think of as separate from us or separate from our work. But with a little creativity, you can find ways to, to join the two together. In fact, my most recent NSF grant is on uh, writing interactive songs to help uh, and motivate students to learn introductory statistics. And so um, it's not just me, it's not just UTEP. There really is like a national interest in uh, these sorts of things, and UTEP has been a wonderful place for me to, to, to try this out.